Welcome back to Extreme Excel on YouTube. In this lecture, we are writing a code or a macro to rearrange a data which we have copied from a school directory which was actually in PDF format. Uh, we need to convert this data in this format, right? Basically, this is a data which we have copied from that PDF file and this is in one column only and we want to convert into tabular form like this school in different column address in different and then we further need to extract town state and then zip code etc in different columns so this is something which you call as data scraping from PDF file or you can say conversion of PDF to uh, Excel some people call it as data extraction, some call it as data scraping and in preview terms it is simply a macro that will be rearranging data for us. Right? So if we closely analyze this data then we'll figure out a couple of things. So first thing is whole data is in one column that is column A. Each column has six rows of data and then first row is school name second is uh, city the second and third contains address fourth contains phone fifth contains the name of principal of the Apple school and the last one contains the district school district so six uh, rows for one particular school and then one space between uh, two different schools and then uh, six rows for the next school if we were asked to arrange this manually then we would have followed these steps first of all go to this select this copy go to next sheet and select the next available cell right click paste special values and it's transpose over here and go back to sheet one select next school record copy and then again paste special and it's transpose so this was a trick which uh, we would have done this manually but we want to write the same thing in VBA so we'll be following same approach but just through VBA right so let's move on to VBA editor I'm opening it through all the F11 so first of all I need to select uh, sheet 1 because I need to pick data from first sheet therefore I am assuring that my cursor should be on first sheet only therefore I am selecting this sheet and I want its active cell to be A2 so second row first column dot select or not the value dot select right now I want something that repeats uh, the steps for me so for that I'll be using a loop for i is equal to 1 till uh, for now I'm uh, writing till 5 uh, but yes uh, the records will not be 5 so I'll be making it generic at the end right so if I look back here uh, I need to know the start position and end position of each record to select that range for that I need to use two variables one is start x that will be active cell dot row because uh, I have selected a2 in initial therefore I simply uh, put this value in start x and end x is start x plus 5 because start x is 2 therefore 2 plus 5 7 similarly if start x is 9 then 9 plus 5 is 40 like this right so next uh, task is to select this range for that use range function and the syntax is like this a2 till a7 dot select but here we don't uh, want to hard code these values because we want to make it generic. So, therefore, 
I'm concatenating these strings like this. Uh, start x over here and again concatenation of this part again concatenate and 7 need to be end x. So this is how I have parameterized this and now I am not uh, hard coding these values to uh, that particular rule but I have made it generic. Right. So the next thing is to select that range and copy that range because uh, we have selected a particular range now we want to copy it. So selection dot copy to copy a particular range. After copying this data we need to paste its transpose and second sheet. Uh, so far we have copied this data like this. We need to go to sheet 2 and then we need to reach this hill and then paste it transpose over here. So I'll be doing the same with VBA. First of all I'll be selecting sheet 2. Select. So now I'm on sheet 2. Right. And then we'll be pasting. Uh, be before pasting we need to assure that we are on right cell. Right. That's why we'll be finding the last available blank cell. So for that I'm using a last row variable. Right. So that is just go to something which is very end. 65536 and then come back excel up and it's row now I'm explaining what I've done in this row basically uh, first of all I have gone to uh, a65536 that is somewhere over here a65536 so I um, instructed my code to reach this cell then go back using control and upper arrow key to find the last available row because if it contains some data like this and if I were at a65536 and if I would have pressed control and then upper key and I would have reached this last row so the same I have done using VB code right so I'm going back to VB code here I've gone to range a65536 and then instructed it to go till end in upper direction and find its row right so that row basically contains data we need to go to something that is available so that is last row plus one right so I'll be writing something in cells and then last row plus one that will be blank for sure and the column that is uh, one right uh, and select this cell basically right then paste whatever you have copied earlier uh, selection dot paste special and we need to specify the parameters paste excel paste values only and then operation need to be excel none and then skip blanks should be false and then paste its transpose therefore this is very important to specify it here transpose it should be true okay so once we have pasted our data for first record uh, in this then go back to sheet 1 sheets one dot select and I have missed something this double quotes right so I'm showing you what I've done basically I have copied this 
and then reached here and then right click face special its values its transpose over here then I went back to sheet 1 now I need to select this cell so that my code read uh, that what is active for next record because in the very beginning I am selecting start x as active cell row and end x as this plus 5 right so I need to uh, at the very end I need to select um, something that is beginning for next record so next active cell would be beginning of uh, next record offset so I'm using offset to select um, for next record so basically initially uh, my cursor was here and I need to go down one two three four five six and seven rows therefore offset is seven rows downwards and select it all right so the score is complete except one thing here I have specified that my loop will be running for one to five right for five records only I want to make it um, for n number of records therefore I am putting a condition over here that is if length of active cell dot value is less than one right if it is not containing anything only then just jump out of the loop if I specify i as 10 then definitely it is not uh, following this criteria and it will jump out of the loop otherwise keep i 1 so and end if it will run for n number of records now it won't uh, take care of what this value is because if it is uh, between 1 and 3 and if it is running for 10 number of records so it will keep it 1 until it finds next blank value and as soon as it finds the next blank value it will make it 10 and jump out of the loop so let's see how it runs here if we look at this sheet so we have all this data in this second sheet and now if we want to remove this static text just select that call and replace all with something that is blank so it has replaced all 21 replacements and similarly for principle and anything else which you want to remove okay so your data will be ready like this and if you further want to um, separate this study name state code and then zip code then you can split these out using formulas mm, we can take another session on formulas to um, split, um, to understand how to split data when that is messed up in one particular cell Thanks for watching this tutorial. Keep watching our channel on YouTube. Good luck. Bye bye.